Shalom, royal family. The class you are about to hear is taught by the Honorable Yudhe Wafe, Beit Nun Sophie Yudhe Wafe, many years ago. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Visit us at www.yahweh144000.com. Also, royal family, you can enroll in classes designed for the Godhead at www.universityofyahweh.org. Enjoy. As we know, the wrong people have been ruined. The name Yahweh been hidden. They had a good time pretending to be God and projecting themselves on movie screens, television, media. Churches as God. They had a wonderful time. Messing the world up. They hell out of heaven. And they thought they would go on forever. So they woke up and found the little man had been born among so called black people. Bringing his name back. World's greatest secret. Yahweh. I know what I'm doing. Anytime that I can start off by myself and just have it all of you in here say Yahweh. I know Yahweh is God. And it's refreshing to see people all over America and all nations bow and accept that Yahweh is just God. What a blessing. And then I noticed that some of you seem to be so overjoyed, and you should. I don't mean to take this from you, about Yahweh will subdue the nations under our feet. <laughs> and uh, how many of you are ready for that? <laughs> now see, if I carry you on through a series of questions, we'll have an interesting time around here. And I know some of you have juvenile thoughts. I can tell by your actions. So well, Yahweh to subdue the nations under our feet has to do with something other than a physical body of nations laid out for us to walk on. One definition is opposite to hand. You know how low we are as a people. And we are on the bottom of all civilizations as a people until my coming. It says that the scripture says that Yahweh is going to subdue all nations under our feet. They're not going to be equal to our feet, but beneath even our feet. So where we are the bottom today and the world comes to America for education, technology, etc. At the same time that Yahweh subdues all nations under our feet, notice what he promised us over here. Read Deuteronomy 7, 6 to me. And let's see what he's going to be doing with us simultaneously. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God, Yudhe The Lord Yudhe thy God, hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. All right, Deuteronomy 14, 2. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God, Yudhe and the Lord Yudhe hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. Praise Yahweh. Well, there's another scripture. Right, let's turn to Deuteronomy 26, 18 and 19. Read. And the Lord Yudhe hath avouched thee this day 
to be his peculiar people, as he hath promised thee, and that thou shouldest keep all his commandments and to make thee high above all nations, which he hath made in praise, and in name, and in honor, and that thou mayest be a holy people unto the Lord thy God, Yehovah, as he hath spoken. In verse 19, it's not something that we are able to do ourselves, but it requires Yahweh to make us high. So while he is going to subdue, that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to accomplish that. And he's just one man. That's all that ever took. Yahweh is one God. So it doesn't take more than one man. Yahweh is one man. And as his son, I'm one with him. I'm one with his will. I'm here to speak his will, to carry out his will, to vocalize his will to cause people to hear his will through my voice. I make people hear the will of Yahweh. So these words are alive no matter who likes it. And I'm going to affect everybody, whether they're in this building or not. Oh yeah, that's how powerful I am. See, I affect people all over America and all over the earth. I am in the process of affecting people, causing people to seek my name. Now. So his scriptural proof that Yahweh is personally involved in making us high. Then he, we saw here in one of the definitions of feet, it's the opposite of the head. Now Yahweh said he would make us the head and not the tail. And the Lord Yudhe shall make thee the head and not the tail and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath, if that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, Yudhe which I command thee this day to observe and to do them. Notice, there's no question about what Yahweh is doing and going to do, but the big question is, are you going to do what is necessary for you to do? So this scripture is what? Conditional. If you do what? Listen, hearken, keep, observe, do the commandments. Now you may understand why all your life you were never taught to keep the commandments. Because the only way you're going to get these blessings is keep what he said. So your enemy knows that the way to keep you from getting your blessings is teach you that what Yahweh requires doesn't count anymore. Oh, yeah, they, they told you the Old Testament doesn't count. Anybody ever heard that? Yeah, I heard it all my life. Old Testament doesn't count. Some churches are called New Testament church. They don't, they, the Bible could have it too. They don't even read the Old Testament. Don't know what it says. Old Testament is not in the church. That cuts out the beginning. If the Old Testament doesn't count, then God didn't create the heaven and earth. It doesn't count. The fact he made the heaven and earth. The fact he created life and all that there is. It doesn't count. That's the that's way the enemy of God is. So consequently, if you have the children of God in your, in your nation among you, and you want to keep them beneath, then you keep this kind of knowledge out of the head. Let me see the picture clearly. And you will always be beneath, never above, because the qualifications to be made above are clearly stated. Now, as to whether what I say is true or not, I've already conducted my experiment and have proven my mathematical equations. Huh? All of my experiments have come out positive because I've taken a group who were beneath. Resurrected them in the name, Yahweh. Showed Yahweh's conditions, keeping his commandments. So we began to practice them. And the moment we began to practice them, then Yahweh began to do something. And he hasn't stopped. What is it? Raising us up? A little? No. High. 
So now, that's why everybody on earth that are other nations want to know what I'm saying, what I'm teaching. What about them? They always ask the question from me. What about us? If I don't carry the power, then why would you ask me that? If I don't have the power to save you, then why would you ask me, can you be saved? Here you are, white people, with the atom bomb and hydrogen bomb and jet, the fastest flying jet, the Concorde comes from over there. We have all this technology and all the factories and manufacturing companies and, and all this technology and computers and Rolls Royce. And, I mean, my people are producing a scooter. <laughs> we won't get into all the negatives about how negative we are about them. I mean, we don't produce anything. And we worship the people that are producing things. Hmm? You look at television and Marvel. You think the producers of TV are gods. That's simple stuff. I have things in store for you that you haven't heard about yet. It has an entered into the mind of a man the things I have stored up for you. This is all child's play, what you're looking at. See, when I, when I teach you how to hook your mind into my mind, and then I just think on a rock or a mountain and make it levitate, then you can talk about power. Oh, man, power. But if I want to do it, I can't. You abound with earth thinking, therefore things are weight to you. But I've already demonstrated that all the power that the earth weighs 616 tons and I got it floating in space without a motor. <laughs> Heavy is in your mind, you bound by that. I'm not. To the children of the most high God Yahweh, you have to demonstrate his mind qualities. So in the meantime, there's two actions going on. One people are going down, another going up. And they're going to be under your feet, meaning on the ground. Now look up ground. Ground. The foundation for an argument, belief, or action. Basis. Premise. The underlying conviction prompted some action. A cause, a reason, the position or portion of an electric circuit that is at zero potential with respect to the Earth. A conducting connection to such a position or to the Earth. To overdue to the point of being teased. To take another position or approach as an argumentation of, on, or near the ground. Flourishing in or on the ground, to place or set on the ground, to provide a basis for the argument, theory, or the like, substantiate, justify, to supply the basic and essential information, instruct in fundamentals, to school. Told him, Yahweh said he will subdue all nations on your feet. I'm here to do that. Nations are not going to be reduced to the level of your feet, but beneath your feet. Now this demonstrates that your bottom most extremity, your feet will have more potential than all the nations are demonstrating now. And of course, you understand your feet have no brains in it. We still in the definition of feet. Dealing with what? Ground. 
They'll be laying on the ground with zero potential. So we're flying through the skies and, and causing fire to come down from heaven. They're going to be reduced to the ground with zero potential. They're going to be forced to make no progress, yield their rulership advantage. And they'll have to come to our feet for just basic information. They, they're not eligible, they will not qualify to come to me as the head. They'll start at those who just have basic information. That's where they'll, that's where they relegate it. You know, the nations of the earth are going to be reduced to the bottom, in the bottom. This is a mind thing. This is education. That's what makes me unique. I'm an educator. Divinely. Selected by the Lord. The lowest or deepest part of anything. The lowest of anything. The nations of the earth, in relationship to us, are going to be the lowest of all things. This does not mean that the nations that produce Yonder Hall and Roland and all this stuff, we'll forget how to make that. It's just that I'll be raising you up so high, that'll be the feet. Can you imagine how many would like to have the knowledge that'll make all this under your feet? You'd be ready for a spaceship, wouldn't you? But the least of everything, that means we're gonna be the opposite, the most of everything. Come on. The underside. The supporting part of something. <coughs> a foundation. Base. All right, now. See, you can rejoice in Yahweh with that. That means all the technology that you see is but a foundation for me. And you. It's only a base. All that is all that you see is just under the foot stuff. They laid out the ground work. Yeah. That's right. You'd be so high above everything you see until this is clearly under our That's why I have 90% of your brain shut down. I want to let you use 10% of it. Because you know he is. But when they're reduced under our feet, then I'll also open up your mind, your brain, and let you operate on 100% maximum with me. You won't be able to operate. No, I'm not going to let you operate beyond me. I shall remain God. I know how to stay God. I'm gonna make all of you die. Like, you know, I'm definitely gonna stay mighty. I don't even worry. I'm the only man on earth that thrives in giving you my wisdom and not be threatened. See, all other leaders on earth rule by keeping the people in them. All that's all religious leaders, everybody. They, they only stay in power by keeping the people. Imagine I'm in power giving you divine supreme wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Other people, when they keep you ignorant, they can run con games on you. Hmm? And I'll come and I'll teach you all the games. So that people can't run any on you. I studied the game people play. And it's quite obvious that I choose righteousness. 
integrity. Integrity, virtue. I chose, I choose to be rectitudinal, perpendicular, upright, righteous, pure in heart and mind. And I teach you to be that way. Glory. Bottom. 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 The major underlying policy. Essence. The seat of the chair. Staying power. Staying power. Okay, go ahead. We describe the feet, the nature of your feet, the mind, even your mind at its lowest point must have staying power. Some people never get to be successful because they can't stay with anything. They go through the trials and tribulations and they give right up. Or they go through so long and say, shoot, this is not for me. I'm going to quit. No staying power. So we're also describing the nature of your feet. Remember, the nations are going to be under this. Okay, come on. Feet, body. Bottom. Basically, actual, yours, undermost, fundamental, to provide with an underside or foundation, to establish on a foundation or basis. <coughs> Hold it. There's Yachin and Boaz standing in the face. They should be under our feet, but though we are here in America as the bottom, yet we are the foundation. Bottom. Uh, to grasp the meaning of. What? Now I sound like manpower. To grasp the meaning of. Wait a minute, it's fathom. To, to grasp the meaning of, to fathom what's happening. To, to understand, to comprehend. It, it takes a certain kind of ability to grasp the meaning of something, the essence, the foundation. See, Yahweh is the cause. The very name means cause. So as Yahweh's children, we must come to understand the cause of a thing. And that's one of the definitions I teach my students. I've taught you too. The definition of study means to seek. To learn all of what? The facts about a thing. Seek. Secondly, the second proposition to study is to seek to understand what? The very nature of a thing. In school, they didn't teach me this. Y'all were talking. Third is learn how to apply all of this to better yourself. But you can't stop there. It won't be a blessing to you if you do it just to better yourself. Better yourself and our nation as a whole. That's the purpose of study. That's the meaning and definition of study. So we must have a mind that's always seeking to grasp the meaning of a phenomenon, a happening. I was raising us high. I'm so glad. Are you glad he's raising us high, brother? Well, I don't want to stop, but I think I think I've started you on your way to studying feet. And I think I've given you an indication sufficiently to cause you to consider the reality that for nations to be cons um, placed beneath and subdued beneath our feet carries many messages. And how many are glad to find out that it isn't about you physically seeing some white people on the ground and you're going to walk on their head, walk on their head. Praise God. I know I could tell some of you really thought you were going to get to do that. You weren't going to walk, you were going to stomp along. How many of you understand that this is not going to happen through osmosis? It's going to require Concentration, becoming a diligent student of Yahweh. You're going to have to take my yoke upon you and truly learn me. Because it's not about this.
Greetings, Royal Family. Let's talk about the most prestigious private university in the universe, the University of Yahweh. It is here where students, parents, adults, and teachers study the divine mind of Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, thus elevating them to contemplate and understand the loftier concepts and principles, enabling their minds to focus and think on an extraterrestrial level. This intellectual ability and unique set of skills supersede all base, mundane, and terrestrial thinking, thus allowing one's minds to open up and flourish with an overwhelming abundance of creative ideas and loftier concepts, making life and living more enjoyable. The University of Yahweh is woven deep within the fabric of the moral principles of truth, honesty, integrity, true holiness, righteousness, ethics, and justice for all. The University of Yahweh is designed for the Godhead, and this includes students, parents, adults, and the Godhead. In the University of Yahweh, the online platform, you gain a structured format to the approach of the divine mind of Yudhe Yahweh. We welcome you to visit our website at www.universityofyahweh.org. This platform is specifically designed for the Godhead and the Godhead family. The 144,000 chosen to rule in righteousness. We look forward to working with you as we prepare for rulership in righteousness. Praise Yudhe Wafe. Praise Yudhe Wafe. Beit Noon Sophie Yudhe Wafe. Shalom, Royal Family. Thank you.